myself sunil kalshetty assistant professor department of electronics engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today i'm going to discuss silicon unilateral switch sus learning.com at the end of this session students can describe construction characteristics and operation of silicon unilateral switch the silicon unilateral switch is a four layer pnpn device of the thyristor family sus is the one of the member from thyristor family it is useful in various industrial circuits like oscillators waveform generators gate control circuits for scrs and other power devices like igbt mosfet gto it exhibits negative resistance characteristics that makes it useful in oscillator circuits the sus is also known as a four layer diode it can be treated as low current scr without a gate terminal this is the symbol of sus sus having three terminals anode cathode and a gate this is the schematic symbol of sus in between gate and cathode the zener is connected the equivalent circuit of silicon unilateral switch consists of option a diode in series with a put option b a diode in parallel with put option c a diode in anti parallel with put option d two diodes it is similar to the put except that in between gate and cathode a zener diode is connected so the option c is correct answer figure c is the internal diagram of sus it is also called as a n gate scr in the scr the gate is connected to the p region but in sus the gate is connected to the n region adjacent to the anode that's why sus is called as a n gate scr it is similar to put except it has an internally built in low voltage zener diode in between gate and cathode here in between gate and cathode zener is there it is low voltage low current device unlike the other device the sus only turns on for a fixed value of anode to cathode voltage no external gate drive is required to turn on sus to turn on the sus it requires fixed anode to cathode voltage means vpn plus vg means it requires 0.7 plus vz to turn on the sus for forced switching a bias or pulse signal may be applied to the gate of sus sus nt6404 specifications are as follows rating 20 volt 0.5 ampere on set drop 1.5 ampere switching current is 200 micro ampere holding current 0.75 milliampere 
most of SUS have a breakover voltage of 8 volt and current limit of less than 1 ampere. This is the VI characteristics of SUS. VS switching voltage, VH holding voltage, IH holding current, IS switching current, VF forward voltage drop across SUS when SUS is in conducting state. If input voltage is less than VS, SUS remains in off state. The device triggers into conduction when a forward switching voltage Vs is applied. SUS is turned on at fixed voltage Vs because of breakdown of internal built-in general diode which causes current to flow out of N1. This current acts as a gate current and hence no external gate drive is required. When supply voltage is more than Vs, SUS turns on and suddenly the voltage is reduces and current increases rapidly and the device exhibits in the negative resistance region and the negative resistance region is represented by the region SH. So because of this reason, SUS can be used as a relaxation oscillator. Comparison between SUS and UZT. SUS is turned on at fixed anode to cathode voltage determined by its internal general diode whereas UZT is turned on at fixed fraction of eta interbase voltage. The switching current IS of SUS is much higher than that of UZT and is very close to holding current IH that is a valley point current. The negative resistance region is very much restricted in SUS as switching current and holding current are very close. For line synchronization and forced switching pulse signal may be applied to the gate terminal that is operating SUS as N gate SCR. How SUS can be acts as an over voltage sensor. When over voltage is appears across SUS that is across anode to cathode the internal Zener diode breaks down and once the internal Zener diode breaks down SUS conducts and it maintains the safe low voltage. In this way, SUS acts as a over voltage sensor. Relaxation oscillator using SUS. This is the one of the important application of SUS. Initially, assume that SUS is in non-conducting state and capacitor C is in fully discharging state. When voltage is applied across RC circuit, capacitor C starts charges through the source R and C. As long as capacitor voltage is less than switching voltage, SUS remains off. When the voltage across capacitor crosses the switching voltage, the internal Zener diode breaks down. So because of that breakdown of Zener diode, SUS turns on and once the SUS turns on, the current flows through the SUS and capacitor C starts discharges and the discharging path of C is the C SUS R0. So because of this pulse is produced across R0. As long as voltage across capacitor is greater than holding voltage, SUS remains on. Once the capacitor voltage crosses the valley point voltage, SUS 
turns off and again the capacitor C starts charges and the process continuously repeated. Triggering circuit for SCR using SUS. Here SUS is used to trigger the SCR. Assume that initially SCR SUS both are in non-conducting state and capacitor C is in fully discharging state. When the voltage is applied capacitor starts charges and the charging path of C is the input source voltage R C. As long as voltage across capacitor is less than switching voltage SUS remains off. When the voltage across capacitor crosses the switching voltage, the breakdown of internal general drive takes place. Because of that, SUS turns on and once the SUS turns on, the current flows through the SUS and the capacitor C starts discharges and the discharging path of C capacitor is C SUS. This discharging current acts as a trigger current of SCR. So because of this SCR conducts and the, the direction of load current is the VCC load SCR. In this way this circuitry acts as a triggering circuit for SCR or any power device. These are references. Thank you.